With regard to social determinants of health care uh, and, and outcomes in particular, it's about time we're realizing how important they are. I've seen credible estimates saying that social determinants of health care outcomes account for perhaps anywhere from 40 to 60 percent of differences in outcomes. This is not an inconsequential amount. And so if we are really truly serious about being outcomes oriented in health care, we can't come near accomplishing what we'd like to accomplish without direct intervention with regard to those social determinants. Also, we're finding out, and to somewhat uh, sh uh, chag our chagrin, that the social determinants are many and they are diverse. We've got to deal with housing and education and food insecurity and domestic abuse and on and on and on, lead in the paint, lead in the water. And so we're just going to have a ceiling effect. If we don't address these social determinants of health, there's just so much we can accomplish. There's not enough headroom uh, to accomplish what we need until we address social determinants of health. I would expect that integrated delivery networks and other organizations in healthcare that are responsible for longitudinal management of populations are kind of uh, getting cued into this a lot better than others, but we've got a lot of work to do. Some sectors of our healthcare system are more ready than others to address those needs and social determinants. If you are an integrated delivery network, if you have a responsibility to manage a population, you have the incentive and you've got the perspective to care about social determinants of health. However, as we all know, our healthcare system is set up in certain ways to manage what we've done for decades. Fee for service for what doctors do and what hospitals do and what laboratories do and what pharmaceuticals do. The system is not set up to be sufficiently integrated to uh, breach those gaps, to, excuse me, to breach those silos across these different systems. How do you hook up a uh, traditional healthcare system to housing insecurity or homeless? How do you hook that up to a poor educational system? How do you hook that up to the water system? We're not designed to do this. We don't get paid. We don't get incentivized to be as broad as we need to be. So we have a long way to go there again integrated delivery networks and other groups that care about managing populations have more to say about this and I hope greater leverage.